So today I thought I'd do a real quick video on the Samsung DLP TV. Uh, this is one of the very slim model DLPs. It's only about maybe a foot thick or so. Uh, anyhow, I've seen quite a few of these and um, let me get up a test pattern on here real quick so you can see the picture better. The picture's very hazy. Uh, for instance, these uh, blocks right here should be, um, you know, a sharp transition between black and white. And uh, the, the black boxes are, um, they're not black. Let me uh, get the camera up here a little bit closer. You can see the black boxes are very gray. And uh, that's caused by an accumulation of dust on the optics inside. So uh, we'll be taking this apart real quick and doing a quick cleaning on it. So I've got the back off the set down here and I've got it running. I've also taken off the access cover on the inside. Let me see if I can get the camera in here so you can see what's going on. But um, on this model, um, everything's projected up on this little um, convex mirror. Um, you can also reach in there and try to clean the glass panel if you wanted to and see if that makes any difference. But the biggest problem is this mirror itself is actually, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but it's very, very dusty. Uh, dust gets into that little um, cavity in there and it uh, just makes it makes it terrible. So, um, I've already got the screws out of the engine. There's two screws down here on the bottom as well as two screws up on the top. Um, you need to make sure that you've disconnected your uh, uh, door safety switch. Uh, I've got this one jumpered so I can run it with it open. On this model, you'll want to disconnect uh, the third cable down from the top. It's the gray cable with the black heat shrink over the end of it. That's the remote control cable, and that does attach to the light engine itself. Um, if I had a free hand, I would disconnect it right now, but I'll just show that to you. So I've already got the cables disconnected, but you'll need to disconnect the um, it's a DVI connector, but it's the LVDS cable. It connects to the uh, DMD board right here. Um, disconnect the power supply to the ballast. Be careful when the set is on. There is 320 volts on this connector. It's very dangerous. As well as disconnect the one cable from the engine. Reach in and unhook the remote control receiver cable that I was telling you about. Make sure that you've got the light engine uh, or the, the door safety switch disconnected. Once you've got all the screws out of the engine, it just pulls straight out and we can just push the set out of the way at that point and we'll concentrate on the engine itself. So I've got the engine out and I'm looking at the, well, the actual front of the engine here, not the back that you normally see. You can start by taking out these four screws. Once those four screws are out, this front cover, you have to disconnect the cable from the little retainer. It just pulls off perfectly straight. Next thing you have to be very careful of is this piece of glass. Nothing really holds it into place. It's just in there, so go ahead and take it straight out. As far as I know, orientation on that glass is not important. Uh, I can turn the engine back around now, so there's a, the side of the engine that you normally see. This whole plastic piece just pulls right off. And now let me see if I can get up in here and show you. There's the convex mirror, and you can just see how much dust is on that. It's just absolutely filthy. So we're going to clean this mirror. We're going to clean uh, this little piece of glass. That's where the image actually exits, as well as there's another mirror up in here that sometimes gets hazy. This one actually looks pretty good, but we're going to clean it as well. So we clean all three of those surfaces. And um, if you're very careful about it, uh, everything's great. But if you, um, like I always like to use compressed air to blow the dust out of these sets. 
uh, and it actually drives dust down inside here and gets it on the face of the DLP chip and that can lead to little spots on the screen about the size of a uh, silver dollar about two and a half inches in diameter little uh, blurry spots people describe it as little baseballs on the screen a lot or golf balls anyhow so I'm gonna take this out blow the dust out of it and uh, we'll clean it then I'll address I uh, clean the DLP chip it's it's not that much work it only takes a few minutes to do it and so there's our mirror all cleaned up and ready to go it looks nice and shiny everything's all clean so we'll go ahead and put the top back on it and we'll talk about disassembling the uh, DLP chip to clean inside there as well all oh, people ask what do you use okay uh, this is Windex. It's just regular Windex you buy at the supermarket. I use a paper towel. It leaves a little bit of fuzz behind as you're cleaning the mirror off. So to get rid of that fuzz, I have a little air compressor down here that I use for fine jobs like that. Uh, but I've never had problems just using standard paper towels. I've been doing this for 30 years now repairing products, fixing big screens, and I've never gone for that fancy solution or uh, special microfiber towels. Just regular old paper towels and Windex have always worked just perfect. So now to begin cleaning the DLP chip, we need to remove these two screws. Um, that hold the fan uh, in place. The fan can be unplugged once the two screws have been removed and set aside. Need to remove the clip that holds down the uh, the DLP chip heat sink as well as this little uh, gasket tape needs to be picked up. The clip you have to push in and kind of pry this back over the hook. When you're removing the heat sink from the DLP chip, I've always found that if you push and twist very slightly, it breaks this little um, heat sink rubber material loose. Otherwise, it can actually bond to the back of the DLP chip. I've had problems with that. Take out these three screws. Don't touch these underneath here. This right here is the focus ring, so if you ever do replace your DLP chip, you have to adjust the focus manually with this. Remove four screws in the corners, one, two, three, four. Carefully remove the color wheel flex cable, the color wheel LED cable, and the ballast cable, as well as the other fan. This is the thermal switch and door safety switch cable. This goes to the shutter and the actuator, and they all need to be removed as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll show you the results. Okay, now that I've got all that disconnected, I'm going to take out these four screws right here. That just lifts off. After that, the board can be just lifted out of it. And then there's the DLP chip. You can see how much dust is on the face of that chip. So that's why you have to take the DLP chip out to clean it. There's a good shot. So the DLP chip can just be wiped off. Just make sure that it's in a dust, as dust free as you can get it. as well as you want to spray some uh, compressed air up into here to dislodge any dust that might have collected up in there. Once again, before you uh, reassemble it, make sure the DLP chip is as clean as you can possibly get it. So I've got the DLP chip sitting there. I'm gonna blast it with some air. 
shoot some more air right up in there and then kind of close it all at the same time to keep it as clean as possible. Once that's done, you can go ahead and put on the focus adjustment. Just start one of the screws up in here. And then that'll hold it, hold it back together. Now reassembly is just the opposite of disassembly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together and we'll show you the results once it's all done. So I just thought I'd mention this to you real quick about adjusting the focus. If you do change your DLP chip because of the white spot issue, um, after you change the DLP chip, the focal plane is at a different uh, height than the original DLP chip was in most cases. So the focus may be off very slightly. You may see some soft lines. To adjust the focus on this, access the test menu with mute 182 while the power is off. Then turn the power on. So uh, with the set off, press mute 182 power. Go to the DDP uh, option and select test pattern. And you can bring up a fine crosshatch pattern with a little crosshatch, crosshatches about a half inch square each. Um, I use needle nose pliers. I get in here to the uh, uh, focus adjustment and you can turn the focus back and forth like that while you're watching it through the little access hole on the back of the screen. Just thought I'd give you that little tidbit of info. All right, so here's our same set after the cleaning and you can definitely see the difference in the amount of haze. The camera's kind of blooming there, so it's really hard to see. But um, the picture is definitely much, much clearer than it ever was. It looks like a brand new TV now. And um, I'll show you some real quick trip, uh, tricks for um, adjusting the geometry on these sets too real fast. So on these sets, if you're in the service menu and you go to the DDP option right here, the first selection is horizontal vertical select, uh, position. So if you, if you select it, it puts up these uh, lines all across the top. And you can see the top, the top's pretty good. The sides look okay, they're bowed just a little bit. But on the bottom, I can't see hardly anything. It needs to be adjusted. Well, I can move the picture up. It's still pretty close, but on these models, you can actually adjust the top mirror on these sets. There's four screws that you can loosen on the back of the TV, four Phillips screws, and then on the right and the left-hand side, there are two slotted adjustments that adjust the tension on the mirror itself. And as you adjust those uh, two slotted plastic adjusters, uh, what you want to look for is the bottom of the picture, particularly down here on this side, and down here on this side, corresponding to which side you're adjusting. They don't do much for the top, but they do adjust the bottom. So um, that's what you want to look for on these sets. Once you get the picture looking good, you can go ahead and lock it back down. If you wanted to, you could go into the uh, test pattern option way down here at the bottom of the DDP. And uh, if you just click back one, you'll find this super fine crosshatch pattern that I was talking to you about. This is one that's really good for adjusting the focus because you can see how fine the little squares are. They're very tiny in comparison. They're only about a half inch square each. So uh, anyhow, that's it. Um, quick little video on how to clean uh, the mirrors and the lens on the Samsung uh, SX series DLP. Let me get you the model on this one really quick. See if you can we can focus on this or not. Yeah, this one's an HLT 6176SX. S means slim on these sets. So anyhow, there you go.